Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Shelmet High School. Our student council president, Jason Tucker, will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Jason. Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Now to the wonderful Miss Mutt. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. I love it when he's right, you know, the wonderful Miss Mutt. Students, parents, guests, Thank you for joining us on this very special night. My name is Carol Munt, and I am an assistant principal here at Shelmet High School. As we proceed through the awards this evening, you will meet our, our members of our faculty and our guests who are with us tonight to present awards to your students. Tonight, we recognize and honor our students who have distinguished themselves academically or worked diligently in clubs or organizations. Whatever the case, we are happy to spend the evening highlighting and celebrating their successes. And we thank you for joining us this evening. For our award recipients, as your name is called, enter the stage from my right and exit the stage to my left. Pause for pictures. To begin our presentations this evening, we have with us Ms. Sweeney, who will present the Business and Professional Women's Club Scholarships. Ms. Sweeney. Hi, everyone. I am Suzanne Sweeney, the president of the St. Bernard Business Professional Women's Club here in St. Bernard, and I'm delighted to be here tonight among the best and brightest of our parish. The St. Bernard Business Professional Women's Club was chartered in 1961, and for the past 55 years, St. Bernard BPW has been a leader in our community. Through many worthwhile programs, the dedicated members of BPW have worked for the betterment of our parish. The program which is nearest and dearest to our hearts is the scholarship program. As an organization, we've made a commitment to try and provide scholarships each year to our young um, students. Our scholarship committee examines the applications and selects the applicants whose best exemplify the ideals of BPW. It is my pleasure to present to you the 2016 St. Bernard Business Professional Women's Club Scholarship recipients. First one is Kirsten Wegman. Our second recipient tonight is Joelle Loga. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Faith Moran. I'm recording secretary for uh, Francois Delry chapter, Daughters of the American Revolution. The DAR Good Citizen Program is open to all senior class students enrolled in accredited public or private secondary schools, which are in good standing with the State Board of Education. The program is intended to encourage and reward the qualities of good citizenship. Francois Delry chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution has sponsored a student from Chalmette High School to participate in the Good Citizens Contest. Francois Delry is part of District 4, which is comprised of six chapters in the metropolitan New Orleans area. All may enter a student into the contest. The student selected as the school's DAR Good Citizen must have to an outstanding degree qualities of dependability, which includes truthfulness, loyalty, and punctuality, service, which includes cooperation, courtesy, and consideration of others, leadership, which includes personality, self-control, and the ability to assume responsibility, and patriotism which includes unselfish interest in family, school, 
community, and nation. This year's Good Citizen participant representing Shalmet High School is Sydney Marie Evans. Thank you. Hello, my name is Rachel McCluskey, and I'm here to present two awards, the Lauren Sabat Student Council Award and the CHS Faculty Award. It is my pleasure now to present the Lauren Sabat Memorial Scholarship. Lauren was a student at Shawmut High School from 1992 to 1996. During her sophomore year at Shelmet High, Lauren was diagnosed with leukemia. Despite her disease, she remained actively involved in all aspects of Shelmet High School. She was a four-year member of the cheerleading squad and a participant in various school clubs and activity. She continually demonstrated her resilience. Often, Lauren would have to go to the hospital during the day for chemotherapy or a spinal tap, yet she would still show up with a smiling face to cheer at a game that night. When it was deemed necessary for Lauren to receive a bone marrow transplant, she was forced to leave school temporarily in order to travel to Iowa. During her physical absence from Shelmet High, Lauren's presence was constantly felt. In fact, she was still elected student council president for her senior year. Students felt very strongly about Lauren's dedication to Shelmet High and her determination to return. When she did return, she fulfilled the student's expectation and did a spectacular job on student council. After graduating in 1996, Lauren spent a year attending Nunez Community College. Sadly, in November of 1997, Lauren's four-year struggle with leukemia ended. Even though she is no longer with us, her legacy as an inspirational leader of Shalmet High School Student Council will always be obvious and carried out by our current student leaders. This year's award goes to a young lady who has worked tirelessly for me, always remaining positive even at the most stressful of times. She has led her classmates by example through her hard work and strength of character. It is my pleasure to announce the 2016 Lauren Sabat Award to Miss Sydney Evans. The second award I'm presenting tonight is one of great significance to our school. This year, for the first time, Shelmont High School faculty and administration came together with a goal to create a, a scholarship funded by our staff for a senior that embodied all of the characteristics of a Shelmont High School owl. A student who came, today, came to school each day with a smile on his or her face, a student who was always willing to help others, and most importantly, a student who immersed themselves in the academic and extracurricular culture of our great school. Teachers and, teachers and administrators pulled together money out of our own pockets to fund this award and then voted to choose a deserving recipient. This $1,000 scholarship truly comes from the hearts of teachers and administrators who have witnessed the development of these wonderful young adults over the past four years. It is my pleasure to announce the first ever winner of the Shalmet High School Faculty Scholarship to Miss Sydney Miller. Good evening. I'm Rodney Orso, treasurer of St. Bernard Firefighters Local 1468, along with our president, Mr. Reggie Bergeron. We're here to award some scholarships. On September 11, 2001, terrorists ruthlessly attacked our country and murdered almost 3,000 people, including 343 firefighters. With such a terrible loss to our country, St. Bernard Firefighters Local 1468 felt compelled to do something in their memory. 
In 2002, we established a scholarship program for St. Bernard Parish high school seniors funded through the sale of 9-11 memorial bells. This pro program has continued since 2002 with the exception of 2006 due to Hurricane Katrina. We are proud to continue this scholarship program through the generosity, generosity of the citizens of St. Bernard Parish. Each of the following two recipients have been chosen for their strong moral character and will each receive $1,000 scholarships. The 2016 recipients are Joshua Michelle, Mr. Jonathan Perez. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, faculty, staff, and students. My name is Jerry Estopanol, and I'm one of the directors of Los Islanos Heritage and Culture Society. And I'm here tonight to present two scholarships. Each year we have a competition which requires uh, the entrant to construct an essay of 500 words about what it means to be an Islano. And each year we have between six and a dozen people submit their essays and we send them up to a group of scholars and they have to make a very difficult choice about which one's the best because usually they're all very very good. Uh, tonight I'd like to announce our two winners. The first one is Carly Ray Tassin. And our, our second winner is Lauren Marie Valancourt. And both of these young ladies will be invited on uh, June 14th to come to the Islanos for a special banquet in their honor, at which time they'll be presented their checks on the 14th of June. Good evening. My name is Emily Boakle. I'm an assistant principal at Shelmet High School, and it is my pleasure tonight to give out two awards with scholarships from two very memorable teachers in St. Bernard Parish. The first memorial scholarship is for Ms. Trudy Foray, and it's in memory of her for the outstanding science teacher and chairman that she was at Andrew Jackson High School. While there, she taught her many students a love and true appreciation for the world of science. This award is presented to an outstanding science student who enjoys the pursuit of excellence in science and the love of the science world within all of us. This award is presented to Ms. Kim Tran. The Candy's Ears Mathematics Award and Scholarship was instituted in honor of a beloved math teacher at Andrew Jackson High School. Candy taught many students through the years. This year's recipient, 
demonstrates outstanding abilities in the field of mathematics. And this year's recipient is Ms. Shanna Abair. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lucy Ruffino, and I am the scholarship chair for the St. Bernard chapter of the Louisiana Volunteers for Family and Community. This is an organization under the auspices of the LSU Agricultural Center, and it has awarded four $1,000 scholarships for the 2016-2017 school year to residents of St. Bernard Parish. The funds for three of these scholarships were raised from the Red, White, and Blue Rendezvous, and the remaining funding came from the SBVFC Council Treasury. This is the seventh year that four scholarships have been awarded. Since the SBVFC is an organization that seeks to promote volunteering in order to strengthen individuals, families, and communities through education, leadership, and action, the criteria for this scholarship highly emphasize the students' volunteer activities. We thank these high school seniors for their efforts and hope that they will continue to serve their community in the future. Each student will receive $1,000 to study at a Louisiana college, a university, or accredited community college for the 2016-2017 school year. There are two students from Chalmette High. The first is Ms. Sydney Evans. and Mr. Jason Tucker. It's my privilege to be the principal of Shelman High School. Tonight I have an award for two juniors, and I realize the seniors are wondering, what in the world are they doing here? But it's because we consider them outstanding juniors, and they are here for their service to school, service to community, school pride, and scholarship. And this is a money award. They get a, a, a beginning to perhaps a scholarship bank account of $500 a piece. And this award is presented through the Gulf Coast Bank. Uh, Mr. Williams, who is the president of that bank, uh, he has come to us many times with many things and he truly enjoys working with our students. So because he enjoys our students, he decided that he would do something to uh, help two juniors on this, on this beginning of the next year. So the four-star award for our standing junior goes to Courtney Salzman. And, and Kenny Wynn. This next award is sponsored by the Francois Delery chapter of the DAR, and it's given to a citizen who is, and it's truly a, a, a wonderful thought that this is a person who is looked at as someone who is, has good citizenship and tries to promote that. And the lady we have that we're gonna give this to today does it every morning. She starts our day off with the uh, Pledge of Allegiance 
and she represents a good citizen in every way at Chapman High School, Sydney Miller. And also, it's my pleasure to present to you uh, a person who is recognized by the Retired Teachers Association. Uh, this award is uh, given by the organization when our teachers retire, and uh, they, they love to continue to be part of our school. So the Retired Teachers Association Award tonight is presented to Julia Mayer. Good evening. My name's Steve Fecky. I'm here to present the St. Bernard Parish Sportsman's League Joseph C. Fecky Memorial Scholarship Award. The award is a four-year, $1,000 a year scholarship for a student with studies in ecology, conservation, and biology, or any one of those. In 2003, I approached the St. Bernard Parish Sportsman's League and asked if I could fund their scholarship on an annual basis uh, in memory of my father who had passed away. Uh, my father put a premium on education and he worked two jobs for many years to make sure that his five sons received a, a first class education. So in memory of my father, I'd like to present this annual award, the St. Bernard Parish Sportsman's League Joseph C. Fackey Memorial Scholarship to Ms. Kristen R. Esponge. Good evening, everyone. I am Russell Surpass, and I am the Grand Knight of Archbishop Rummel Council in Chalmette. Uh, we're the folks that bring to you the Louisiana Crawfish Festival every year. And we're here tonight uh, due to the success of the Crawfish Festival to present award. My name is Dennis Bourgeois. I'm Deputy Grand Knight, Rummel Council, 5747, Knights of Columbus. Dara Gonzalez, also 5747 advocate. And I'm looking at our brother Knight out here in the audience. I don't know why he's up, hanging up here with us. He's our past grand Knight, Laura Gonzalez. My name is Ruben Saavedra, and I'm a trustee in a past grand Knight of Roma Consul. In 1882, Father Michael J. McGivney founded the Knights of Columbus as an order for Catholic gentlemen, founded on three principles the first principle and the greatest of all virtues charity, unity, and fraternity. Later we would add patriotism. This award tonight, we believe, fulfills part of that role that we have to present charity to the community and the people that we serve each day in the uh, activities that we host. This scholarship, the Knights of Columbus Romo Council Pathway to Success Scholarship, is a four year, $1,000 per year scholarship. The great Spanish writer, Miguel Cervantes, in his book, Don Quixote, has his great hero, Quixote, say to his valet, Santo Pancho, Sancho, blood is inherited, virtue is achieved. We believe that our award winner has demonstrated that achievement. Tonight, this award presented, the Pathway to Success Scholarship, goes to Miss Olivia Rivera.
Good evening. My name is Kenny Dufour. I'm with the Knights of Columbus, 8442 Our Lady of Lords, and I'm here to give a check to Miss Lauren Valancourt. Hi, I'm Jessica Janik, and I'm a teacher here at Shumut High School, as well as a sponsor of the Interact Club. Each year, Shumut High's Interact Club sponsors two blood drives through the blood center. Blood cannot be manufactured, so it's very important that we donate blood to our, net, our local blood bank. This year, through the generosity of our students, we were able to collect 140 units, thus potentially saving 420 lives. To show their appreciation to our students that donated blood this year, the Blood Center has awarded Shumut High a $1,250 scholarship. This year's recipient of this life-saving scholarship is Austin Savoy. And I'm going to ask Dr. Kraft to join me. <laughs> How you doing? Good to see you. The objective of Rotary is to encourage and foster the ideal of service as a basis of worthy enterprise. The moral fiber of Interact Club is service above self. The recipients of the St. Bernard Rotary Club Scholarship and the Shamit High Interact Club Scholarship embody the values of both of these organizations. Each recipient has focused on making their Interact Club strong, answered calls for service with integrity, improved the quality of life in their community, and volunteered on international projects. Rotary and Interact recognizes the importance of empowering youth through leadership development. Volunteers might not necessarily have all the time, the money, or the expertise, but they have heart. Nothing is stronger than the heart of a volunteer. The Interact Club members being recognized tonight understand the importance of service and collectively represent 18 years of dedicated service to our organizations. No one is more cherished in this world than someone who lightens the burden of others. Thank you for your service. Tonight, the St. Bernard Rotary Club will award four one-time $500 scholarships. The recipients are Neonta Fernandez. You get to take this. Seth Quillen. Alex Valancourt. <laughs> Suzanne Abdel Aziz, sorry. Sorry, I got nervous, Susie. <laughs> Each year, the Shaman High Interact Club sells white out the stand shirts for the Holy Cross um, versus Shaman High game. 
And tonight, the Interact Club will be able to award two $500 scholarships, and the recipients are Alexis Banks and Lauren Valancourt. On behalf of the Rotary Club, I want to thank Ms. Jenick for all the hard work. She stepped in uh, after Hurricane Katrina and established a club here at Chalmette High, the Interact Club, and they've done so much in the community, and we want to express our heartfelt appreciation to them. So thank you, and thank you for Mr. Warner, who uh, uh, gave her time to do this and gave her inspiration to to move forward so it's great and, and uh, we uh, send each summer two junior students to Rala that's a Rory Youth Leadership uh, Academy so uh, what happens is before uh, the two people go to this summer leadership conference they come and uh, greet us at the Rotary Club and have lunch with us. And it's hard to sort of pull words out of them at that time. But then when they go off to that week of leadership training, they come back and we can hardly keep them quiet. So they're <laughs> constantly, constantly talking and want to share all the activities and excitement they had at that week's conference. But we appreciate the community, appreciate the uh, support of the Rotary Club. And again, we're just so proud of uh, this Interact Club. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. My name is Herb Hostler. I'm a, a trustee and a scholarship chairman for Slidell Elks Lodge. The Order of Elks has a national program titled Most Valuable Student Scholarship Program, and is based on academic achievement, leadership, community service and other pertinent factors. 500 scholarships are awarded each year on a national level, totaling $2.5 million. 12 scholarships are awarded by the Louisiana Elks Association on the state level, and 10 scholarships are awarded by Slidell Elks Lodge. The three highest scoring males and three highest scoring females when judged at the local level, are submitted to Louisiana Elks Association for judging at that level. The highest scoring male and the highest scoring female in the state is then submitted to the Grand Lodge for judging on the national level. A Shalmet High School student who is the highest scoring male on the local and state levels and will receive a national scholarship and that is Jason Tucker, Jr. Good evening, I'm Penny Tinarella. I'm a guidance counselor here at Shelmet High School for 11th grade. Um, every year, Tulane University recognizes an outstanding student within each Louisiana high school, an 11th grader with a Tulane University Book Award. The students who have been selected for the Book Award are extremely talented and have demonstrated leadership in their respective communities and impressive academic achievement. The young lady, that has been nominated this year exhibits all of these qualities. She is never afraid to take on a challenge. She excels academically and has been on the honor roll all four years of high school. She is a junior class officer, an active member of the Inter Interact Club serving as president, the Key Club serving as treasurer, 
PBIS and junior class officer of the Beta Club. She is also a member of many community activities. Relay for Life, Battle of New Orleans Ambassador, Paws in the Park, MS and Breast Cancer Walk, and Rotary Spelling Bee, just to name a few. It has been a privilege to watch her progress over the years here at Chalmette High School, and I wish her um, the best with her future endeavors. The um, award goes to Kaya Lawrence. Sorry. Good evening. My name is Brenda Bulware, librarian at CHS, and my sister, Pat Porcho, uh, director of St. Bernard Adult Education, is out of town tonight and is, will be unable to be with us. But the scholarship given tonight was created in 1999 and serves two purposes, as a memorial in our mother's name because she loved education, as well as the name of the school at which we both worked, St. Bernard High. It is with pride and honor that we present the 17th annual Ethel Porcho SBH Memorial Scholarship to a young person who has maintained an A honor roll average all three years of their high school career, as well as accruing 24 credits within that three years. This recipient followed the honors curriculum and has earned a 3.9 GPA and scored a 23 on the ACT. This young person will be the first in her family to attend college. She is intrinsically motivated, a team player, mature beyond teenage years, a member of the Book Chat Club, and was named a terrific team. Tonight, our scholarship is in the amount of $1,500 the Ethel Porcho SBH Memorial Scholarship is proudly given to this year's recipient, Ms. Norma Tatiana Hernandez. Good evening. My name is Roddy Rodriguez and my wife Ashley. We're here to present the Kurt Rodriguez Memorial Scholarship Fund. Kurt played football for Northwestern State University and passed away in 2004. And um, he already has a scholarship endowed at Northwestern State, but our goal is to have his name endowed here in St. Bernard Parish and to present it to a student that can further his education. If we can help in any way, we are proud to do so. This year's award goes to Alex Joseph Powell. Good evening. My name is Mike Gorbity. I'm the president of the St. Bernard Arabi Kiwanis Club. And let's see, Mr. Where's the judge? He's not coming with me? Okay. All right. And with me is uh, Judge Robert Buckley as well. Uh, it's my honor to represent the St. Bernard Arabi Kiwanis Club in presenting the Kiwanis John Richard Bienvenu Scholarship, which has been generously endowed by the Bienvenu family. Uh, this four year scholarship in the amount of $1,200 each year is awarded to a key club member who has excelled both academically and through service to both the school as well as to our community. I'm proud to announce that this year's recipient is Sarah Russell.
As Mike said, I'm Judge uh, Bob Buckley. Uh, I'm also here with Sandy McNabb, who is uh, one of our corporate sponsors with the Kiwanis Club and the Kiwanis Foundation. Uh, she is here with uh, Gulf Coast, and uh, I'm going to assist her in presenting a, a scholarship uh, in a moment. But first, I have the St. Bernard Kiwanis Foundation uh, Leadership Scholarship. Uh, this is a four-year scholarship for $1,200 per year. Uh, it is uh, awarded uh, based upon scholastic, uh, also based upon uh, service, and it is a, uh, we locally, the scholarship committee for the foundation, does the initial uh, grading, and we then submit our five uh, best recipients to the U University of New Orleans faculty where they have a committee who actually does the final awarding. And uh, again, the cream usually rises to the top. And this year's recipient is very deserving of this award based upon his scholastic achievement, his service through his four years at Chalmette. I'm going to make him walk all the way from the top again. So this year's recipient, Jason Tucker, Jr. Many years back, uh, when we were uh, looking for corporate sponsors, Gulf Coast stepped up, as they have done for many, many different organizations and activities throughout the parish. Uh, they stepped up to award a yearly scholarship to a deserving uh, individual who might not meet all the criteria for a normal, regular scholarship in that they were more concentrated or interested in one who was dedicated more to service than almost anything else, but still was a good student who was able to acad academically excel, but had an emphasis on uh, service, not just to school, but service to the community as a whole. And this year's recipient embodies that. Uh, I was very impressed when I reviewed the resume that had been submitted to show uh, that they were both a member of Interact, which is a premier service organization of the school, as well as the Key Club, which is our, from the Kiwanis Club, also the service organization. And that wasn't all. They were also listed seven or eight other activities that they were parish-wide or for the parish. So this uh, scholarship for one year for a $1,200 award goes to Alex Valencourt. Good evening. I'm Diana Dysart, and I have the honor and privilege to serve as St. Bernard Parish President of the School Board. Um, first of all, on behalf of the School Board, I'd like to congratulate each and every one of the recipients tonight. We're very proud of you and very happy for you. Also, parents, congratulations to you. You've had a long road, and congratulations on all of your students' successes. Also, at this time, I'd like to acknowledge Mr. Warner, Ms. Munt, and all of the administration and faculty of Shelman High School. They do an incredible job uh, at what they do day in and day out. And we do appreciate all of them. Let's give them a big round of applause. And lastly, I'd like to thank all the organizations who have come tonight and for their generosity to give all of these scholarships to our students. It is wonderful that we have such a, and we're so blessed to have a community that is, that um, looks up to education and puts forth their money and their hard-earned 
um, fundraising to our students. So we thank each and every one of you who came tonight to uh, offer these scholarships. Thank you very much. <laughs> Years ago, the school board members um, were talking about all the scholarships and every, every um, graduation was so proud of all of our students. There's millions and millions of dollars at graduation night that Mr. Warner announces of students getting scholarships and, and many of you in the audience tonight will be announced at graduation. But we were, we were talking and we said, you know, the school board members themselves, we ought to establish a scholarship. So that's what we did years ago. And each board member and Ms. Voce uh, put up money in order to um, have the school board member scholarship. So tonight it is my honor and privilege to announce the school, uh, the school board members scholarship. And the winner of this award has made a name for herself, literally, by being listed in who's who amongst American high school students. Her academic achievements have secured her a four year ride to college and winning the Posse scholarship. Her time at Sherman High School has been occupied outside the classroom by memberships in a wide range of clubs and activities, including 4-H, Beta, Key Club, Student Council, and she has held class offices in the past, serving <clears throat> excuse me, as president of her freshman class, and this year she was also a maid on the homecoming court. This lady has definitely made a mark, and it is our honor to tonight give an award the St. Bernard Parish School Board Member Scholarship Award to Nayanta Nicole Fernandez. I'm uh, Doris Foche, and it is my privilege to be the superintendent of the St. Bernard Parish Public Schools. And this is one of the nights that I really enjoy most because of everything I have to do um, in terms of duties and responsibilities, this is truly a joy when I see so many of our young people who have exceeded our expectations and have done tremendously well, both from an academic point of view, service oriented, and just all around great students and great community members. So with that, it is my privilege to present three of our scholarships tonight. The first one is our Joseph Accardo Scholarship, which was established in 1970 by his widow in, uh, to honor his memory and his firm and unwavering commitment to excellence in public education in St. Bernard Parish. The winner of this award has focused her efforts in the academic arena while at Chalmette. She has been a member of such academic organizations as the Beta Club and Mu Alpha Theta, and she has achieved honor roll status in all four of her years. Additionally, she has been a member of our softball team, serving on the varsity since her freshman year. With her academic and athletic performances, this senior has made her name at Chalmette High School. It's my honor to present the Joseph Accardo Scholarship to Bailey D'Antoni. Betty Pope Moody Scholarship has been established in memory of a person whose entire life has itself been one of total dedication to education, particularly the education of those students who attended Shelmet High School during her 28 years that she served as a business teacher and assistant principal. Her enthusiasm and untiring efforts helped to make Shelmet High truly a school of champions. On first glance, you might think this senior is everywhere, but that is only because she is a twin. However, she and her sister have charted their own individual courses here throughout Chalmette High School. 
This senior has spent part of her years as a member of the Chorale, the CHS Voices, and the Show Choir, as well as participating some of her time in the CHS Ambassadors, the Teen Leadership, the TV Production, and the Unified Partners. She has done Shalmet High School proud by doing it her way. It is my pleasure to award the Betty Polk Moody Scholarship to Ms. Shelby Evans. third scholarship that I am awarding is named after a gentleman who has really made his mark here at Shalmad. He was an assistant principal for many, many years and uh, was truly a great friend of mine, as well as all of the students and faculty of Shalmad High School, the Al Waller Scholarship. This senior has had a large presence at Shalmad High. He has focused his impact in several areas of the school athletics, academics, and leadership. He has been on the football, tennis, powerlifting, and track teams during each of his four years. He has asserted himself in the classroom by making the honor roll during each of his four years. He has further stood apart by his leadership roles in his positions as team captain, class officer, and student council president. He has distinguished himself in each of his endeavors in all of these areas and made a strong presence as a Shalmet Owl. And again, we'll wait for him to walk down all the way from the top, Mr. Jason Tucker. Good evening, I'm Kelly Watson and I'm presenting the next scholarship on behalf of Ms. Angela Avent and Mr. David Blasini. The Joseph J. Davies Junior Scholarship is presented to a student who is being recognized for her outstanding achievements in academics, leadership, and service here at Shelman High School. Receiving the scholarship for $3,000 is Mrs. Sarah Russell. Good evening, my name is Katherine Lemoyne. It is my pleasure to be here tonight representing the Voices Foundation, a nonprofit organization here in St. Bernard committed to preserving the history and culture of our community through educational and artistic programs. I have the honor of presenting two awards on behalf of the Voices Foundation. Our first award will be presented by fellow board members Rosemary Sand and William Schneider. This award goes to a person who has stated she has a deep romance with theater, having been captivated by the art of theater, film, fashion, and the business of show business. A bright presence in the classroom, on stage, and of course, at our annual Spelling Bee mascot. It is our pleasure to award our first $500 scholarship to a young woman who will, who will attend Marist College in New York next fall, Ms. Giselle Chanko.
Our next award goes to another outstanding artist and student who will be awarded the Milton Sand Scholarship, named after a talented artist and CHS graduate. Here to present the award is his wife, Rose Sand, also a talented artist and a proud graduate of Chalmette High. Thank you, Catherine. I am very proud to present the 2016 Voices Foundation Scholarship in memory of my husband, Milton Sand, who was a 1966 graduate of CHS. This year's award is especially meaningful as it has been funded by an endowment from my mom, Julia DiGiovanni. My mom was a cafeteria manager in St. Bernard and a proud St. Bernardian. I remember well when this recipient first made her mark in the world as I lived next door to her grandmother. Miss June was so proud of her granddaughter then as I am now for her and her accomplishments and bright future. This year's recipient is an incredible young woman who will attend Tulane University next year and will focus her talents on the connection between media and psychology. An outstanding artist, athlete, academic games champion, and a vital component and contributor to the Penn TV studio. It is our honor to present the Milton Sand Voices Scholarship Award in the amount of $2,000 to Ms. Riley Luria. I also have the privilege of representing the Old Araby Neighborhood Association tonight. The OANA partnered with Nunes Community College to create a culinary scholarship to honor a true gentleman who was an integral part of our Araby community, Mitchell Smith. Mitchell passed away last year and friends and family created this scholarship to honor his memory. The winner is eligible for $1,000 per semester for up to four consecutive semesters in pursuit of a culinary degree from Nunez. Here to present this award is Debbie Smith, Mitchell's wife and the owner of the Araby Food Store and president of the Old Araby Neighborhood Association, Michael Pichon. Tonight's award goes to a young woman who is the perfect candidate for the award. Active in community service and in her pursuit of higher education in the food service industry. We are proud to present the Mitchell Smith Scholarship to Ms. Courtney Barnes. Good evening. My name is still Mike Pichon. I also, I also happen to be the president of the Shelmet High School Alumni Association, and, and I get to uh, present the four alumni scholarships that we have tonight. Uh, our main mission as, with the Alumni Association is to support Shelmet High School and the students in any way that we can, and one of those ways that, that we choose to do that is to award uh, our wonderful young people some scholarships if we have the opportunity. So with that, we have four $500 scholarships that we're going to award. And our first winner is Martin Nellig. Our next one is for Gabrielle Kirchum. <laughs> and 
Next is Alex Powell. And our last one goes to Seth Quillen. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Holly Walters, counselor at Shelman High School. I'm here tonight to present two different scholarships. Um, the first one I'm gonna do is just the Justice of the Peace and Constable Association Scholarship. Um, the association is presenting their third annual scholarship donation in the amount of $500. Their association stands for its integrity, honesty, and loyalty to our St. Bernard community. They feel that the recipient of this scholarship should have the same qualities. Our recipient is a 4-H member. He has performed in many of the CH Live productions. He um, attended our dual enrollment program at Nunez for nursing this year. And when considering nominations, all of his teachers um, highly praised him so the recipient, recipient for the St. Bernard Justice of the Peace and Constable Association tonight is Mr. Nikki Bauer. The second scholarship, I'm flying solo tonight without my family, so hopefully I don't get too choked up. Um, this is the Todd Landry Memorial Scholarship. Um, my family and I are presenting this. This will be the fourth one over uh, so many years. Todd was a 1995 graduate of Andrew Jackson High School, where he was voted most likely to succeed and he held the highest rank in the first ROTC class that we've had in, in this, the parish. Um, while still in high school, he also earned his private pilot's license. Uh, his, actually before his driver's license. Um, <laughs> his dream and passion was to become, become a commercial airline pilot. And at the age of 22, he achieved that goal uh, by being an outstanding graduate of the prestigious Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in T Daytona Beach, Florida. <clears throat> Todd was not only an outstanding student, he was an exceptional young man of strong character and resilient personality. These characteristics were exemplified through his love for his family, friends, and his sincere dedication to the flying profession. Todd offered so much love for each person in his life, and everyone shared that love. <clears throat> Todd always said, I'd rather be flying. Now he has attained a set of wings that shall never fail him. <clears throat> in search for a recipient of this scholarship, we decided to look for a student with the same passion to fulfill his dream. We chose a student who we feel will soar with Todd above the rest. This student has strong character, as well as a cheerful personality. He always greets you with a smile. He was nominated by our faculty as well for most likely to succeed. He is involved in the Key Club, Tech Club, and has fixed a few of my many computer issues. <laughs> he is always ready to accept the challenge. He will be pursuing a, a degree in computers. I'm pleased to announce the recipient of the Todd J. Landry Memorial Scholarship to Hunter Taylor. You. 
and before I came here tonight, we increased it to a thousand. So if you want to record that. <laughs> Good evening. My name is Yvonne Ban, and I'm an educational diagnostician with the St. Bernard Parish School Board. I'm here representing the National Sorority of Phi Delta Kappa Incorporated, where we have over 130 chapters throughout the United States in Barbados. We give scholarships to young men and women who are pursuing a degree in the field of education. This year, with the assistance from Mrs. Thorns, we received three applications. Two of them will be pre presented tonight in addition to an honor, uh, a complimentary ticket to our annual luncheon, educators' luncheon and banquet scholarship at the English Turn Country Club. The recipients of our scholarships this evening are Alex Valencourt and and Sydney Evans. The High Flying Owl Foundation was established many years ago for alumni and others to donate to Shelmet High School for the benefit of teachers and students. Each year, teachers can apply for grants to enrich their programs. Some monies are provided for scholarships to be awarded through the Shelmet High School Improvement Team. Tonight, we have four scholarship recipients who will receive a one-time award of $750. And award recipients, when you come up, stand together for a picture. The first award recipient is Carolina Flores. <laughs> Helena Kemp. <laughs> Carolyn Tran. <laughs> and Tina Tran. The National Merit Scholarship Program is an academic competition for recognition and scholarships that began in 1955. High school juniors enter the National Merit Program by taking the PSAT test, a test which serves as an initial screen of approximately 1.5 million entrants each year. In September, 50,000 seniors with the highest PSAT scores qualify for recognition in the National Merit Scholarship Program. Only 16,000 of these students qualify as semifinalist, and only 15,000 become finalist. This is quite an honor, and we are fortunate enough to have one of our very own students earn this recognition. It is our pleasure to present a scholarship tonight to recognize this student's academic successes. The CHS National Merit Scholarship Award goes to Kim Tran.
A very special good evening to everyone. This is a very special evening. I'm Rita Gu, president of the Arlene and Joseph Miro Charitable Foundation. I know that all of you are excited and you're so proud of all of your accomplishments. It is a true pleasure to be here with you this evening. I echo Ms. Vaucher's sentiments. This is an evening that I truly, truly look forward to also. I like to share in this wonderful award ceremony. And tonight is a special part of your rite of passage, which celebrates your move to the next phase of your young adult life. Each of you has earned the privilege to be here tonight through your hard work, your noble efforts, year after year. My family and I are amazed by the wonderful talents and abilities of the students of our St. Bernard community. Can we give all of these wonderful students in the community a huge hand? <laughs> Tonight is one of those very special evenings because you and I together have the opportunity to fulfill my Aunt Arlene's wishes. My aunt strongly believed that you young people of our public schools should have every opportunity to succeed and have jobs in the area of your dreams and interests. She believed that our community would grow and prosper when our kids, as she would have called you, would have careers in the arts and academics and in the vocational techno technical fields. As a result, our family created from my aunt's foundations scholarships that will help you, empower you to do great things for yourself and this community. Beginning with the class of 2003, our family foundation began providing scholarship money to encourage and empower the vision of you young people to become Miro scholars. And in that same purpose, I am delighted on behalf of the Miro Foundation to award to the class of 2016 50 academic scholarships 54-year academic scholarships, six vocational technical scholarships, two artistic scholarships. This gift totals $232,000 for the class of 2016. <laughs> It makes me really proud to be able to carry out my aunt's wishes because honestly, that was her wishes and my family and I are doing everything she wanted and it makes me extremely proud. I am hopeful that tonight's gift will assist in your journey, contribute to your future success and help make my aunt's dream of a great St. Bernard through our gifted young people become a reality. I wish you much success and God's blessings. Thank you. As you heard, we have lots of scholarships to give out, so we have a process for that. Okay. We, uh -huh. magic. So when when you come to get your certificate, you will also stop by Mr. Schneider and pick up an envelope because there is paperwork that goes along with this lovely gift that you are going to receive this evening. And then we want you to get organized back here on the 
not rafters, the risers, the risers, and you will be able to, uh, we'll have a nice group picture once that is done. I will begin with the, the technical vocational scholarships for the Merrill Foundation. Alexis Banks. Austin Savoy. Evan Savoy. Myero Williams. An Win. Suzanne Abdel Aziz. We have art scholarships to give out as well. Daniel Barber. Giselle Kanko. <laughs> Jenna Selstrom. <laughs> Kirsten Wegman. the academic scholarships. Jonathan Bowden. <laughs> Allison Carlisle. <laughs> Miranda Carreras. Brittany Castiglione. <laughs> Hannah Crevetto. <laughs> Dominic Curo. <laughs> Bailey D'Antoni. Gabrielle Donnelly. <laughs> Shelby Evans. <laughs> Sydney Evans. Nia Favaroth. <laughs> Michael Foss. <laughs> Amanda Gonzalez. Skylar Gonzalez. <laughs> David Hansel. <laughs> Shelby Hartley. Shanna Abair.
Casey Hemelt. Gabrielle Hernandez. <laughs> Ashley Hontiveras. Jessica Howard. Gabrielle Karchum. Joelle Loga. Riley Luria. Rajane Major. Justin Mercier, <laughs> Bryn Meyer, <laughs> Joshua Michelle. Sydney Miller, Brittany Moore, Jamela Nelson, Christian Wynn. Hi, Wynn. Miranda Orso. Harley Patton. Jonathan Perez, <laughs> Seth Quillen, <laughs> Tylan Richard. Olivia Rivera, <laughs> Haley Robin, <laughs> Brandy Rodriguez, Brandy Rodriguez, Sarah Russell, Anna Samudia Gonzalez, Candace Sims, Alyssa Smith, Alexis Sullivan,
Kim Tran. Jason Tucker. Noah Wood. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our 2016 Mero Scholarship winners. Good evening. Everybody's getting back to your seats. So many talented students. My name is Tanya Loria. I'm the Dean of Academic Affairs at Nunes Community College. And I am here to represent our Chancellor, Mr. Thomas Warner. Dr. Thomas Warner happens to be related to somebody up here on the stage. I'm here to present the 2016 Chancellor Scholarship to an outstanding student, Ms. Julia Mailer. Good evening. My name is Dr. Monica Sylvain. I'm the director of Posse New Orleans. I'm here to present the Posse Scholarship. The Posse Foundation is one of the most comprehensive college access and youth leadership development initiatives in the United States. At Posse, what we do is identify extraordinary academic, um, students with academic and leadership potential and send them to top colleges and universities in a Posse a multicultural team of 10 who support each other throughout their college years. Since 1989, the Posse Foundation has recruited and trained 6,983 Posse scholars with the ultimate goal of creating a new kind of leadership network, a cadre of leaders who will sit at the tables where decisions are made and better reflect the diverse demographics of the country. These scholars have won close to $931 million in leadership scholarships from Posse's partner colleges and universities. Tonight, I am pleased to announce that one senior from Chalmette High School has become a Posse scholar and was awarded a four-year full tuition merit leadership scholarship from the University of Notre Dame, valued at over $160,000. She will matriculate at the University of Notre Dame with her posse, there are 11 in her group, in fall 2016. Please join me in congratulating posse scholar Nyanta Fernandez.
Good evening. My name is Jill Bergeron. I am a legislative assistant to Senator Sharon Hewitt. And on behalf of Senator Hewitt, it is an honor to present uh, the 2016-2017 fully paid legislative scholarship to Tulane University to a deserving student in Senate District 1. The scholarship winner excels both academically and athletically. While posting a perfect 4.5 GPA and competing with her cross-country team to win two district championships, this dedicated student athlete excelled in the academic games and the district literary rallies. She volunteered as a student ambassador and as a National Park Service volunteer. You have seen her video productions as she cataloged exciting school, exciting school and community events over the past four years, just to name a few. She plans to take her talents to Tulane University this fall. Please help me congratulate this year's winner of Senator Hewitt's Legislative Tulane Scholarship to Ms. Riley Lorea. Good evening. My name is Tom Duggar. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I am here to present the Golden Owl Awards for this year. Every year about this time, we gather to recognize those owls among us who are golden. Golden here means that certain of our OWL family have set themselves apart by their actions, their involvement, their leadership, or their commitment to the school and its activities, organizations, and functions. Some of these OWLs are golden because they were heavily involved. Some are golden because they were leaders. Some are golden because of the sacrifice they made of their lives, their time, and their talents on behalf of Shalmet High. And so with this award, which we are awarding for the 29th time this evening, we, the faculty, through a process of nomination and voting, single out those seniors who in our collective eyes have done some or all of the above things. Over 100 faculty members voted for this year's award, and the class of 2016 offered us a wide variety of seniors from whom to choose. The decision is made after the faculty votes and the votes are counted to reveal final vote tallies for those nominated. A committee of us then determined by the number of votes each senior had nominated has received where a major cutoff comes in their rankings. Where a reasonable cutoff occurs, that is where we draw the dividing line which determines the winners. And so tonight we will be honoring an even dozen seniors of this class as those who are golden among the graduates. Are these the only worthy seniors? Absolutely not. Many in the class have been involved, participated, and contributed in their ways. These are merely the top vote getters in the eyes of the extended faculty from among this year's class. Their recognition tonight represents the quality and caliber of their class. And of course, this being an award, it cannot be given to everyone. So we regret those who may be eligible but who did not reach the cutoff in the votes as we celebrate those who did. So as each senior winner is announced, we encourage you to applaud him or her at that time. These winners have earned their accolades. Further, we ask that the senior's parent or parents accompany their son or daughter to the stage to share in the receipt of this award, as it has been to some degree through the parents' efforts, sacrifices, encouragements, <clears throat> and support that their senior was able to participate in Shalmet High to this level. Those of us on the faculty who also have worked with, supported, and sacrificed with these students have had our say and applaud them along with you. <clears throat> and thus it is that we turn to tonight's 12 Golden Owl winners of 2016. The order in which they are announced has no significance whatsoever. 
but is strictly random and fun for me. <laughs> Let the guessing begin. Our first Golden Owl this evening goes to a young man who has been a two-year annual titles holder, a four-year member of the Beta Club, a three-year member of CHS Ambassadors, a three-year member of Mu Alpha Theta, <clears throat> a one-year member of the Philosophy Club, a one-year member of the Powerlifting Team, a four-year member of the Reach Club, a one-year member of the Student Council, a four-year member of the Tennis Team, a four-year member of the Track Team, and a four-year member of the Football Team. Of him, a nominating teacher wrote, quote, not only is he above average in terms of retaining content knowledge and developing cognitive strategies to problem solve, he is also a very moral, decent, and upstanding young gentleman. His service to the school and the community is inspiring, end quote. He was voted favorite sophomore his sophomore year, attended Boys State his junior year, was a homecoming court escort this year, has been listed on the honor roll for four years, participated in the literary rally in Biology II, has been named a student of the week, was a presidential nominee for the Reach Club, is a co-anchor on the All Watch News, and is historian of his senior class, captain of the football team, and president of the student council. Our first Golden Owl this evening is presented to Mr. Jason Tucker, Jr. <laughs> you have to stand along with them. You can't sit down and be proud of them. You have to stand and be proud of them. <laughs> I want you all to notice that on, on Jason's Golden Owl, there is a junior behind his name because his daddy, the coach here, has been threatening me for as long as Jason's been in school here that he's going to take that Golden Owl if Jason wins one and claim it's his. <clears throat> so we made sure to put a junior on there now. Coach, I believe you won the, um, you were named Coach of the Year this year, is that correct? Did he take your award and make it, try to make it his? That's his. Congratulations to Jason Sr. and Jr. <clears throat> We'll shift genders for Golden Owl number two. This senior has been a two-year winner of annual titles three-year member of Beta Club, four-year member of CHS Ambassadors, four-year member of the Key Club, three-year member of Mu Alpha Theta, four-year member of PBIS Teens, two-year member of Reach Club, four-year member of the softball team, and a two-year member of the volleyball team. She is characterized by one faculty member thus, quote, she is simply outstanding. She is what I picture as the embodiment of Chalmette High, end quote. She was voted friendliest girl in both 11th and 12th grades. She participated in Girls State her junior year. She is a terrific teen. She was a maid on the homecoming court, was vice president of her junior class, and is vice president of the senior class, and she is 2015-2016's Student of the Year. Golden Owl number two is presented this evening to Ms. Sarah Russell. In many ways, Golden Owl number three is like a twin to Sarah. She's a three-year member of the Beta Club, a one-year member of the Corral, a 
a four-year member of CHS Ambassadors, a one-year member of CHS Voices, a two-year member of the cross-country team, a one-year member of Mu Alpha Theta, a four-year member of the Reach Club, a one-year member of Show Choir, a one-year member of the Student Council, a four-year member of Teen Leadership, a three-year member of the TV production crew, a four-year member of the GT Music Program, and a four-year crew member of Penn TV. On one of her nominating ballots, a teacher commented, quote, she is a leader among her peers. Her compassion, character, and love of her school make her a shining example of what a CHS owl should be, end quote. She has been listed for four years on the honor roll, has a one-year perfect attendance record, was named three times as a student of the week, was a past officer and is current president of the Beta Club, is a sometime co-anchor on the morning <clears throat> Owl Watch News, was a maid on the homecoming court, was president of her junior class, and is vice president of the Reach Club, a terrific teen, historian of the student council, president of her senior class, and 2016's Miss Shelmet. Our third Golden Owl this evening goes to Ms. Sydney Evans. <laughs> For our next Golden Owl, we honor a senior athlete. This senior has been a two-year winner of annual titles, a two-year member of Beta Club, two-year member of CHS Ambassadors, four-year member, <coughs> excuse me, four-year member of the Cross Country Team, a one-year member of Key Club, a one-year member of the Reach Club, a three-year member of the Soccer Team, and a four-year member of the Track Team. In honoring this nominee, one nomination claimed, quote, not only is she a terrific athlete, but she is a good student who is willing to work with others to help them achieve goals academically and athletically. She is a hard worker and very professional. She represents CHS well on and off campus." End quote. She has listed four years on the honor roll, has four-year perfect attendance, was twice named Student of the Week, is a terrific teen, is a winner of the Coach's Award in Track, was a maid on the homecoming court, is an officer of the Beta Club, and is a winner of the MVP award, and is captain of the cross country team. Our fourth Golden Owl this evening is presented to Ms. Jamila Nelson. For Golden Owl number five, we honor a senior who might be said to be a face of Shalmet High, certainly is one of its voices. This senior has been a three-year winner of annual titles, a one-year member of the CHS Tech Crew, a one-year member of CHS Ambassadors, a one-year performer in the Summer Academy's production of Peter Pan, a four-year member of the football team, a one-year member of the Key Club, a two-year member of Mu Alpha Theta, a four-year member of the powerlifting team, a one-year member of the student council, a one-year member of teen leadership, a one-year member of the tennis team, and a two-year member of the track team. He is characterized by a nominating teacher this way, quote, <clears throat> he is one of the greatest owls I have ever encountered. He is involved in every aspect of his school and serves as a leader in almost all activities. He brings humor and joy to his peers and teachers on a daily basis. He has won favorite freshman and favorite junior, friendliest and most school-spirited annual titles in the past, he has been named a student of the week, is a terrific teen, is treasurer of the senior class, vice president of the student council, a co-anchor on the Owl Watch Morning News, president of the Reach Club, a captain of the football team, a captain of the powerlifting team, and was named 2016's Mr. Chalmette. Our fifth Golden Owl this evening is presented to Mr. Andrew Brady Johnson.
As we're halfway through the winners, we're going to do something a little differently. We're going to announce two winners in tandem since they have done almost everything together during their time at Chalmette. It is fitting that they do this together. Our first winner is a four-year member of CHS Ambassadors, a four-year member of the Interact Club, a three-year member of the Key Club, a three-year member of Mu Alpha Theta, and a four-year member of PBIS Teens. She was nominated with these words, the first to volunteer to help with any and everything here at CHS. She is a quiet leader among her class, but a driving force for the success of most CHS activities, end quote. She has been listed on the honor roll four years, three times named Student of the Week, is a three-year secretary of the Interact Club, is a terrific teen, and has been the Maroon Money Mart manager for three years. The second of our pair has been a four-year member of CHS Ambassadors, a four-year member of the Interact Club, a three-year member of the Key Club, a three-year member of Mu Alpha Theta, and a four-year member of PBIS Teens. Have you heard that somewhere before? In addition, she has also been a two-year member of Unified Partners. The second winner was described in her nomination. She, quote, she is one of the most involved students in her class. She is always ready and willing to volunteer for anything that needs help. She is a model owl and will be greatly missed, end quote. She has been listed on the honor roll for four years, has been named a student of the week two times, and is a terrific teen. Our sixth and seventh Golden Owls are presented this evening to Ms. Lauren Valancourt and Ms. Alex Valancourt. For Golden Owl number eight, we will turn to the stage. This senior is a four-year member of the Corral, a four-year member of CHS Live, a four-year member of CHS Voices, and a four-year member of Show Choir. One of this senior's nominating sheets cited him for being, quote, very active student since his freshman year. Always active, always represents CHS well, end quote. Another focused on, quote, though he has dealt with a number of challenges this year, he has been a wonderful contributor to our CHS community, end quote. He is a terrific teen, performed in all Glitter and Gloves musicals, is a student of the week, a terrific teen, and he has played Al in Passengers, Cardinal Richelieu in Three Musketeers, Sid Sawyer in Tom Sawyer, Norman in Cash on Delivery, Victor Winslow in 13 Past Midnight, and he was Shrek in the Summer Theater Academy's production. Our eighth Golden Owl is presented this evening to Mr. Daniel Barber. It's not green. <laughs> we'll stay on stage for Golden Owl number nine. This senior is a three-year member of the Beta Club, four-year member of CHS Ambassadors, four-year member of the Hand in Hand Club, two-year member of the Key Club, four-year member of the Magnum Opus staff, a one-year member of the Philosophy Club, a one-year member of the tennis team, a three-year member of the TV production crew, and a four-year member of CHS Live. Among the accolades in her nominations was this, quote, she is an incredibly talented, hardworking student who has continuously given her time to Chalmette High. I admire her ability to overcome adversity and to achieve her dreams, end quote. She has been listed on the honor roll for four years, has been named Student of the Week three times, was an officer of the Beta Club in junior year and is treasurer of the Beta Club this year, is a two-year officer of the Hand in Hand Club, she played Audrey in Passengers, Sabine in Three Musketeers, Becky Thatcher in Tom Sawyer, Brenda Dixon in Cash on Delivery, and Brenda Moss in 13 Past Midnight. 
Our ninth Golden Owl is presented this evening to Miss Giselle Kanko. We'll stay in the theater, but go backstage for Golden Owl number 10. This senior has been a two-year member of the baseball team, a four-year member of the CHS tech crew, a three-year member of CHS ambassadors, a one-year member of the football team, and a one-year member of PBIS teens. His nominations read, quote, for four years he has shown great dedication to CHS. He is at every tech club event, both on and off campus, and devotes large amounts of time to set up and ensure that the many productions here run smoothly. He's also spent much time helping teachers. He's always here helping and would help anyone." End quote. He has four years perfect attendance, is a two-year participant in Youth Run NOLA, was an escort for the homecoming court, is a terrific teen, and was crew head for the CHS Tech Crew. Our 10th Golden Owl is presented this evening to Mr. Hunter Taylor. Golden Owl number 11 is a senior who has been part of almost everything at CHS, or so it seems. The senior has been a one-year member of 4-H, a three-year member of the Beta Club, a one-year member of CHS Ambassadors, a four-year member of the Cross Country Team, a two-year member of Hand in Hand Club, a one-year member of the Interact Club, a three-year member of the TV Production Crew, a three-year member of Penn TV Staff, a two-year member of the Philosophy Club, a four-year member of Academic Games, and a one-year member of the Art Club. Her nominating teachers saw, saw her this way, quote, she is one of the smartest students I have ever taught. She is truly gifted, for she has what specialists call over-excitabilities. She can become excited about academics in a way that most people cannot. And it is this enthusiasm for learning, for research, for intellectual discussions, for philosophical dialogue that makes her so delightful. And it is also her humility in helping herself and others that goes right to the heart." End quote. She has been listed on the honor roll for four years, is a three-year participant in the Literary Rally in English, U.S. History, and World History, is technical director for both Penn TV and TV production crew, is a terrific teen, a founder and president of the Philosophy Club, a four-year national member of academic games teams, a three-year captain of the cross-country teams, a one-year participant in Girls State her junior year, and she was secretary of her junior class. Our 11th Golden Owl is presented to Ms. Riley Luria. And we save the last golden owl, our 253rd overall, for an individual who has both the brains and the brawn. This golden owl is a one-year winner of annual titles, a one-year member of CHS Ambassadors, a three-year member of the track team, a four-year member of the football team, and a four-year member of the baseball team. A nominating teacher pointed out, quote, he is a person who would work all day and all night to be sure he is ready for the next day, end quote. Another characterized him as, quote, 
a fun character who leads his peers, end quote. He has been listed on the honor roll for four years, has been an MVP district champ in track, is a terrific teen, was an escort for the homecoming court, was a winner of the Toughest Owl Award and of an all-district offensive award in baseball, and is a captain and quarterback of the football team. Our 12th and last Golden Owl this evening is presented to Mr. Dominic Kirol. And so we draw to a close our 29th Golden Owl Awards with the 253rd title. I think you might have heard in the comments the key to all this. They gave of the time and made the effort to whatever it was they were doing. This is what polishes the shine on these Golden Owls, makes them the contributors and winners that they are tonight. We of the faculty who have grown to think of you as our own kids over these years are happy to have gotten to know you and are proud of the young men and women you have proven yourselves to be. This award signifies that you are capable of achieving whatever you set your mind to. We expect to be hearing great things about you in the future, and we will miss you. Ladies and gentlemen, the Golden Owls of 2016. Ladies and gentlemen, students in the audience tonight, thank you so much for everything you do. For our parents and grandparents, thank you for sending your children to Shelman High School. It's a pleasure to be here. We wouldn't be here. Some of us have been here a little while. <laughs> so just want you to know that we truly, we truly appreciate it because we enjoy being with these kids and we love to see them when they shine like everyone in this audience and on the stage has. So thank you for sending them to us. We appreciate your time tonight. We had a great night of show off for all the great things that have occurred here at Chalmette High School and there are so many more who aren't here with us tonight. So thank you so much. Have a great, great evening. Good night. <laughs>